Hi there wonderful awakening beings and spiritual souls. Jo Rose of JoRose.com, numerologist and energy forecaster. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you the forecast for May 2019. Just before I do, let's recap on what 2019 is all about. But for real further information, please either check the link below or above for not only the forecast of 2019 but also the monthly forecasts that have already taken place to give you an idea to go back and recheck where you're at. When we really connect to the energy we're able to move in flow and not against the flow. So to recap on 2019, this year is all about self-expression, emotions, creativity, right brain solutions and being an inspiration. And you can only be an inspiration when you truly know and own who you are, hence the self-expression. So with this in mind, let's move on to May and see what we've got in store. The way we work out the universal year is we add together the numbers of the current year. 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Now we add the 3 to the current month. May is a 5 month, so 3 plus 5 is 8. So what we've got is the 8 number. There we go, look at that, the 8 number. But the 8 number is also the number of infinity. So, to infinity and beyond, that means what? Infinite potential, infinite possibility. It's, everything comes from the way your mind is um, taking the external world in. And I'm telling you that the external influence coming at you, no matter what your life path, your personal year, your personal month is, it, the universal energy is always there and that's what we're riding. So May brings us the pleasure of the eight. So what springs to mind there is reward, respect, recognition. Now, here in the UK, reward and recognition, well, we've got two bank holiday um, weekends this year, uh, sorry, this month. So that's a reward in itself. And if it's anything like our Easter one was, if the weather is that great, wow, what a reward that we're going to have. Whether or not, sunshine or not, you need to become the sunshine in your life. And I think this is a great month's energy to take this on board. So reward and recognition. What are we really looking here in this month? We the eight is classed as the harvest month, so we reap what we sow. So what have you sown in the months before? And in the seven months before, you will have been working from your, where did we start the year off? We started the year off on a four, so we was really laying our foundations. We were laying, laying our roots. We moved on to the, the five energy, which was a bit more, you know, like let's shake it up and sort it out. We had the six, which was all about family and how we were connecting with people and the community. And then last month we had the seven, and the seven is very reflective. It was review, revisit. The seven doesn't like to take a risk, but this is why we, we review, revisit, reflect, and take on board the strengths, take on board the insights and the ha-ha. And the more we do this, the more ready we are for the risk-taking eight, because the eight is more of a risk number. The eight is a number very much about balance, and here we're balancing spiritual and material. We're, ex we're balancing expansion and reversal. For many, the rewards may just be seeing your money increase, having a, um, a, a pay rise or coming into some money some way, shape or form. But the eight energy is also about losing a lot of money. So you could be losing money, not checking your accounts, going through a divorce, and the eight energy often is crucial when you're looking at your finances so do keep your eyes on your finances do your sums add them up in a different way than you'd add your numerology up because in your finances one plus one must be two and not eleven as it is in numerology so check your finances out it's a great month for 
buying property, investing, legal matters, financial matters, career matters. Um, what else? What else? Your assets, you know. Look where your investments are and look when they're not. We're up and down with, with finances at the moment across the globe. Are there things that you're holding on to that perhaps now's the time to sell? And are there things that perhaps it's not the time to sell? So just bear in mind what you're doing in regards to this. Let me go back. So what is the eight about? The eight is a visionary. It has the big dreams, the big goals. Think of CEOs from businesses. They have big visions and they've got to take the company and the staff forward with these visions. So spend some time in visualizational meditations. And while we've heard of the SMART goal, this is not the SMART goal that I want to talk about. It's about really understanding how you can manifest your dreams, manifest your goals more to the, the way of the law of attraction. But we have to balance the spiritual with the understanding and the material with the efforts. When we wanna look at goals, we can have a means goal. So I need to get this qualification or this pay rise or this deal. And they're all very much a material outcome that's short lived. But the best, best part of any achievement is your personal growth. And the A is all about personal empowerment. So focus on your end goals. And bear in mind that the energy of the year is about your emotions and your self-expression. Who are you, why you're here? What lights you up? What are you passionate about? And when you're doing your visualization, you may not know what careers for you, or what homes for you, or what relationships for you, but I guarantee what you do know is how you want to feel in it. Let me repeat that. It's not about the vision. It's not about collecting the, the material assets and everything, even though this month can bring this to you, but it's really about aligning you to your vision. And the only way you can do that is to feel how you want to feel when you achieve this goal. And then it's not a short term because often we, we're working, 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 rushing, rushing, running, running towards making a goal happen. We get the goal and at first it's <sighs> and then it goes flat because they are not fulfilling you. When you're fulfilled, what's your weight change? What's your burden shift? It's all about fulfillment. Can we fill ourselves up with food? Can we fill ourselves up with poor words? Can we raise ourselves up with good words? Connect with people that inspire you. You become an inspiration. If last month you did spend time researching, connecting, reflecting, and doing everything that perhaps I suggested, you're more prepared for this month. Um, and when I say more prepared, if you were going inside, perhaps you noticed either at work, in your relationships, in your health, in your behaviors, in your practices, that perhaps something isn't serving you. And if you're anything like some people that I know, well, I've done it my whole life, why would I change? But what if whatever you've done your whole life hasn't been working for you, and if you just changed it by focusing on how you feel, how you fulfill yourself, then you would let go of that and take on something new. One of my favorite quotes, and I met somebody for lunch yesterday and she said to me, if there was one thing you gave me, but there were many, Joe, but if there was one thing you gave me, it was, we don't know what we don't know. So I'm challenging you at any point because while I do numerology and energy forecasting, I'm all about your spiritual growth, your personal awareness of who you are, why you're here and what it's all about. We were not born to work. That's a part of the man-made world. We were born to grow and evolve and expand. So, um, this month, if you had checked in with relationships or business or anything that wasn't totally working for you, I want you to feel encouraged and empowered to step up and 
express who you are, not from this, oh, poor me, but because you, you've connected with yourself and you're more passionate and you know who you are. So express yourself, become assertive and not aggressive and certainly not a poor me. There's one book I love, which is The Celestine Prophecy. And, and one part of it is about, well, it's about the nine insights, but one of the insights is really about establishing why we do what we do, what type of energy behavior are, are we? And in that there is four of them. I wasn't planning on sharing this in this video, but you know, things just come and I'm, I'm gonna share it. But there's four. And there is the intimidator, uh, intimidator the interrogator, the aloof, and the, the poor me. And we have to understand why we fall into one of these categories and how to work it and work it without and, and the reason why there's always a conflict is we lack the energy. We're not fulfilling ourselves. And so what happens is we take with one of those behaviors that I've just said, one of those four behaviors, and we take from another in that way. You know, the poor me is, oh, well, I really need help. Keep helping me. Or the intimidator is, is really just making you not feel or making the other person not feel so worthy or the interrogator well they just keep going on and on and on and one of the things one of the major major disease, uh, diseases in this world is I am not enough and I want to say you are so much more than enough for who you are meant to be so become assertive and not aggressive stand up become passionate about you and the more you become passionate about you the more you sparkle and shine people start to come to you and ask you certain things and before you know it you're creating a business or a a service or a, a help system for other people to to come to you for and the eight is all about business and prosperity so why not look at this now some of the things that um, that could be holding us back or some of the things that may come up could be yes um, also fears or addictions behaviors or habits I know next month is really all about letting go but just watch yourself on what you're doing and ask yourself am I Am I standing in my personal power or you know, am I empowering myself or am I disempowered right now? The seven, hopefully you got a lot out of the seven month. I love the seven. It helps you be reflective. You know, who was it? Henry Ford said, hmm, whatever you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. I share this because so many people say, Somebody made me feel like that. Somebody made me feel like this. And I want to say, no one can make you feel anything. You have total control over you. And this is where the self-empowerment comes in. So a situation could have brought up an emotion. You need to address that emotion. This year is all about the emotions. So check in with your emotions and see, even if it's an emotion that was what would be classed as a negative, it's come up for a reason, look at it and grow and evolve from it. Work through it. Why am I angry? Why am I... Um, um, agitated, frustrated, or any of those things, and possibly it's because you're allowing everybody to take your energy or drain you in some way, shape, or form. The three energy, back to the visualization, I know I get a bit all over the place here, but the three energy is very creative and it's about your imagination. When you do those visualizations and you're stepping into how you feel about something, and that could even be in, how can I be more assertive? And what I love is, we're in a two energy, a two millennium, and it's more about the feminine energy. And the feminine energy is, if it, in my mind, one of the stronger energies. You know, we think the masculine is there, but that's all testosterone, rah, rah, rah. But the feminine energy has got the compassion, the nurture, the connection, and so on. So in order to have a great millennium, millennium that's gonna, carry us forward to a better world, a more connected and compassionate world is, is to embrace the feminine and 
step in somebody else's shoes. You know, even when you're assertive, before you do this, before you want to share something, step in their shoes, see how they feel, why they may have done that, and then use some NLP, chunk up, until you can find a common ground where you can work it out. It's so much about balance this energy. What else do I want to say? You know, I, I'm not sure what I want to say except for the law of attraction says what you focus on expands. And it takes as much energy to focus on a disaster, on a nightmare, than it does on a dream or a fantasy. If you can use the three energy from 2009 that we've got here right now and you can really feel what you want, you can really feel a difference that you can make, then you can make those end goal dreams achievable. And when you've got that in mind and you know that every day you want to feel fulfilled, you set your day up to be fulfilled. Look, this is the month of infinity. This is the month of reward and recognition. And I'm going to give you your first reward and recognition by telling you, if you can dream it, if you can think it, then you can make it possible. Just be mindful of what you are dreaming and think about. Remember, it's your life, L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first every day. By doing this, you can embrace the true genius, the, the true identity and the true destiny that you're here to achieve. I'd love to hear your comments, what you've got lined up, what goals you're going for this month, how the past months are helping you the year. And don't forget, I'm doing the Life Path lesson numbers at the moment, so do stay tuned and ring that bell. Subscribe, share, let's, let's expand and get it out there. Let's empower everybody around us so that we can live in a bigger, bolder, brighter and better world. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one.